Hey there, I'm Kitty Robinson and welcome to my full house. I want to show you a really fun and simple game that I've been enjoying with my little five-year-old. I really think this game will go work really well for children from probably ages about two to six, okay? Depending on how you, what kind of variations you put into play with it. All you need is some sort of container. This was from Protein Powder that I just, when I was done with it, I washed it out, removed the label. I'm going to cut a mouth out here and then drew a face. You can do that however you like. This is what we came up with. Now, we've given this game, this guy, a name of Mr. CC because we do classical conversations and that's just the name we came up with for him, but you can name yours whatever you want, okay? Then you're also gonna need some index cards with words on them, okay? Here we have different uh, reading words that my son's working on, and so I have those folded up here. Now, some, before I get started with him and show you how this works, I just wanna share some variations to this game. If you've watched my other video uh, that shows you the uh, oatmeal container with the little metal lids, you could use those little lids that you have prepared for that with this. Learning the same information, but just doing it in a different way. You could use a magnet and have them feed the information into Mr. Whatever you call him. We call him Mr. CC, but into Mr. CC's mouth. So that's up to you. You can do colors. You could do a, a little color on here. You could do multiplication facts. Although I think this might not go as well for older children. Just the, it's a real simple game. You can just do letters. So if they're working on the sound of A, you can just put the letter A. When they pick up the card, they have to tell you the sound. You can do number recognition. So you can do, put the number five on there. When they pick it up, they have to tell you the number and then they get to feed Mr. CC. So there's lots of different options with that. And I will get my little guy in here and we'll show you how we play this really fun and simple game. Hello, sir. Hello. Who is this? Mr. CC. All right, what do we do with Mr. CC? Um, read the words and feed. Read the words and feed him. Mr. CC's hungry. Sa, 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 um. Wait a minute, that's a duh at the end. Sa, 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 sed. Sed. Okay, so put him in there. Hum, hum, hum. Mr. CC want more words. Let's see. And. Very good. And feed him. Hum, 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 hum. Ah, me want food. Hum, hum. Mm. Tastes like strawberry. Far. Very good. Hum, hum. Oh, I bite your finger. Mmm. Mmm, he's like vanilla. Thank you. That's a d dog. Very good, Isaiah. Oh, mm, ooh, chocolate. Mmm. That O says O. Hope. Good job. I hope it tastes good. Mm, banana. Thank you, Isaiah. So that's how simple and fun this game is. But I want you to contrast uh, or compare Isaiah doing his reading words in this environment as opposed to him sitting in front of a book and going through this long list of words. It gets a little tiresome for a five-year-old. It's hard for them to sit still so long. And we do some reading out of his books, but I also take his reading words and we put them on these index cards and we feed them to Mr. CC and we get through the same amount of work, but we have a lot more fun. And I believe Isaiah retains a lot more because when you're enjoying what you're doing, you're automatically gonna learn it and really retain it so much more. So from my full house to yours, I hope you have fun learning together with your children. Thanks. 